recognition that you, in the presence of witnesses, wishes to partake of an authentic sourdough cocktail, thereby following in the wayward, even staggering footsteps of Captain Rurat, will prove to be a person capable of almost anything, and is therefore fully entitled to bear this prestigious certificate, suitable for framing. But be warned, this toe must not enter the mouth, or be bitten, chewed, or God forbid swallowed, or say $2,500 fine. And so, in light of the above, you can drink it fast. You can drink it slow. But your lips must touch this gnarly toe. Just your lips. One, two, three, four. Dawson City is mentally magnetic. It doesn't have a crosswalk. It doesn't have a franchise. It doesn't have a stoplight. And our sidewalks are still made out of wood. It is the coolest city on earth. Dawson City is really far away. Like, far away. There's a lot of things that happen up here that seemingly don't make sense. They make sense up here. They just wouldn't make sense in a lot of other places, maybe more civilized places. Well, the sour toe cocktail, it was a brilliant idea that uh, people seem to get around here when they sit around reading all winter and come up with things. You're taking someone's dead toe, like, hello, like, that's an actual piece of someone's body. You're putting it in a drink, and then you're drinking it. Take the shot, let it touch your lips, and voila, you're part of the club. I'm on the sour toe cocktail list, and my mother is, and on the same page as us for both Pierre Trudeau and Pierre Burton. I don't know much about the toe swallowing. All I know is that there was a guy that, that went into the bar that had the intention of swallowing the toe. He was American, and rumor has it, he did it deliberately. It's kind of our baby, you know? It's kind of our thing we do. Why would somebody go and wreck our fun like that? He seemed like any other American dude, you know? He's coming in, loud voice, energetic. Abrasive. He's back in town right now. You might want to track him down and talk to him about the toe. The toe to me is quirky. It's extremely interesting, the motivations that people do it for. People do it just because it's crazy. My name is Terry Lee. I've lived in Dawson for 37 years, and I am the toe master. The toe master is the keeper of the toe. I take care of the toe, make sure the salt is changed and everything else is good and presentable. I have an emotional connection to this thing because it's it's the toe. <laughs> you just come here, you sit down, you pay the $5 toe tax, and then you just follow my instructions. And Terry is basically the face of the toe. Being of sound mind and body, or well, body anyway. He's a very well-read and interesting guy. He has a lot going on. He's just very attached. This is his job, and he takes it seriously, and he has pride in it. I saw you on TV, old-timer. Oh, yeah, I've been on there all over the place. I bet you have. I'm global. Locking around a little bit. Maybe he feels as though he's got a connection to this history and that he's able to continue this, this story of the toe. So there were the brothers like it, Louis and Otto. During Prohibition, they ran rum into Alaska. On the way at Miller Creek, Louis puts his foot through the ice. And when he got back to the cabin, his right foot was frozen solid. Mm. So his brother said, if you get gangrene, you're going to die. Whack! Knocked his brother's pole off put it on a shelf. Forty years later, Captain Dick Stevenson found the toe. Dick came up with the idea to become an honorary sourdough by kissing the sour toe. How many of these toes you have been waiting? That's our last one. Oh, wow. We only got one. Since 2013, when the cannibals swallowed it. Right. On purpose. Nice. No, it wasn't very nice. It's the fine. Yeah, it used to be 500. But in 2013, this idiot went and swallowed the toe on purpose. I might just call him the cannibal. He probably didn't know we had a backup toe. So he was going to spoil all the fun for everybody else. Yeah, he was kind of persona non grata. Everybody was pretty sad about that. He's kind of like a Yahoo Texan that's 
also a writer. He's just a walking American flag with this huge truck, maybe a 200 pound dog. No, he's from New Orleans. <laughs> like short hair, real short hair on top. And then just this gross, long, ratty mullet. <laughs> He was quite a mysterious guy. It was actually pretty hard to find out anything about him even that week later. Well, there were some conspiracy theories that the tourist authority paid him to do it. I've never met him, so I'm not gonna judge him um, on, on if he's an asshole or not. I'm just gonna say... I think he didn't get enough attention as a child. He kind of looked like a douchebag in the video. He had a big truck, he had a big dog, and he had a big gate. Oh, God bless you. Oh, God bless you. Good night. Mr. Silly, we love you. Good night, Mr. Silly, we love you. Good night, Mr. Silly, we love you. The summer before I ate the toe, I tore my bicep in half riding a bull in a rodeo in Wyoming on July 4th. I decided that every summer I was going to do something kind of outstanding and out of the norm. And doing the toe was another summer. That's how we got into this mess. I got to Dawson because I was driving up the Canadian Rockies with another dog of mine. I was on my way to Alaska. Dawson, for me, is one of the most special places on Earth. There's a magic here that has to be felt. It's in the people, it's in the nature, it's in the rivers, it's in the gold, and it's in the toe. I mean, where else would a rotting human toe be a sacred thing, you know? I mean, that's one of the things I love about this place. I read in a book here in Dawson that a guy had swallowed the toe. It was like they were celebrating him. And I was thinking to myself, man, I've done some crazy things in my life, but I draw the line at cannibalism. And then I thought more about it, and I said, why draw a line there? It's August 24th, 14 p.m. on a Saturday. Before it happened, he would tear, tear, he was Terry. He was all normal, everything was cool. Another good night for the toe. Look, look how much bigger this thing is. Yeah. I was nervous, man. I was nervous about choking. It was a monster of a toe. It was bigger than I remembered it being. Yeah. You can drink it fast. Drink it slow. I had my shot of Yukon Jack, and I had a beer to back me up there, and I had no idea anyone was filming. Drop the toe in, slid it in like a bullet, toenail first. I swear to God, I saw his, did you call it a larynx? Is that your, I, I throw his like th throat open up. So I picked up my beer, took a swill of that, and uh, dropped it down in my tummy. And he stood up and he said, It's down! <laughs> then he reached into his pocket, since the fine was $500 that time, and put five $100 bills on the table. And this guy swallowed the toe intentionally. It's like another expression for no harm done. Like... What's happening, Terry? He swallowed the toe. I got a taste for you. I'm sorry, I don't want to say Terry. I'm at the same state of anger that I was before. All the things that we built up here, he just spat on it. As far as I'm concerned, I just can't handle that. And so now I feel really bad because I thought it was, I thought it would be like a momentary, you know, he might be pissed for the night or like a week, not the rest of his life. Some of the rough guys in town came to me and said, we're going to find this guy and you're going to get 10 new toes. And I know these guys, and these guys were serious. <laughs> if they do do that, I hope they do it while I'm alive and don't kill me first. The day after the tow, I drove into Alaska, and then I actually drove up to the Arctic Circle. And I hit these little towns along the way where I'd suddenly get reception, and my phone would just go boom with interview requests everywhere from Australia to England, Canada, of course. He filmed it. He put it on Facebook to begin with, and then it found its way to YouTube, and it went viral. It went worldwide. I spent eight hours a day, five days a week, for two and a half weeks giving interviews to people. Initially, it was like, oh, crap, he swallowed the toe. What are we going to do? But really, it was probably the best thing that's ever happened to the toe. Suddenly, the Sour Toe Cocktail in Dawson City, Yukon, got all this free publicity from being on CNN and Network National News. You know, it was the best marketing ploy you could ever dream of. He's guilty of theft, destruction of private property, cannibalism, and desecrating a corpse.
I obeyed his contract, but he decided that was not enough. And now I'm banned permanently from the downtown hotel, a place that I love. I do think that Josh has a lot of nerve coming back up here. At the same time, I don't think Josh deserves a lifetime ban from the downtown hotel. When we had the two toes, we could switch them off once a week, put them in the salt, then they get completely dried out and really presentable. Now we got one, this toe is used continuously and it's in pretty rough shape. We need new toes. I don't know what Josh can do to make amends with Terry. I don't know if it's possible. The only way the cannibal can right this wrong is for him to deliver to me and the Sourdough Cocktail Club his two big toes. <laughs> got something. The audacity of this cannibal to come back into town and actually show his face, that act is selfishness and destruction. It's just something that's been a slight the Sarto cocktail to all the members who've done it to the town, to tourism here. It's just something that's unforgivable. Terry, the sweet old man, big dick from New Orleans, Josh, comes out and swallows his toe. Drives a big truck, has got big dogs, had a big mullet. Shit. Is that a wrong assessment? No, those things are true. Yeah. Um, no, if I had, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't have done it if I had known that it would affect him this badly. It's really deeply affected me that it's affected him this way and anyone in this community. I want to write him an apology and hopefully have a little fun with it. I'd like to make him in some way, after all this time, at least smile about it. So we'll see. <laughs> Look at that tongue. Hi, do you guys do living wills? Yes, we do. Okay, I have like a specific like amendment I wanna to make to my will, and I'm okay. wondering if you guys could do that for me and what the process would be. Okay. I wanna will a, a body part to the downtown hotel, um, specifically my big right toe. Well, a lot of people wanna do this, and a lot of people aren't able to, like the funeral home here won't do it. Wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. A lot of people wanna donate their toe to downtown hotel? Yeah. The the problem is physically taking it off, so you'd have to talk to a doctor. So why can't anybody just use some gardening shears and cut it off? If you want to arrange a friend, that, that you probably get to do okay. that. Okay. I'm sure there's some crazier things that go on in the Yukon. Hello. Where would I find gardening shears? What would be the, the smallest shear? The smallest? Well, yeah, the cheapest one. I don't, I don't want to spend a lot of money on it if I don't have to. Yeah. That one might actually work. You think? Well, this one's only $6 the, more, and you wouldn't yeah. make as much of a mess. And this one, you got more leverage when you get Yeah, that I got you. You haven't cut a person's toe off before, have oh, you? No, I haven't. Okay, no. all right. <laughs> have you seen it done? No, I have not. Okay. All right, I appreciate that very much. Look, it's got a little gear, so you got a lot of torque on it. Don't knock it, little man. What's on my toe? He's just silly. He's like, but I love your toes. Yep. Don't knock it, little man. Cool. Jerry, Hi, it's Josh. good to meet you. Good to meet you too. Is the evidence of your folly that you're hanging out with him? Never thought I'd be here. Welcome to the club. Thank you very much. That's it. Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention for a minute, please? Three years ago, August 13th, this gentleman right back here decided he was going to swallow one of our toes. So tonight he is here to make restitution. Thank you, Jerry. This is called Sonnet of the Sour Toe, an apology. Many came to Dawson to find their pan of gold, but I came and left a cannibal. I swallowed the ghastly black thing itself, the toe, paid the fine 500 bucks of my hard-earned dough, 
then said goodbye to this town I loved so. You may forgive me fast, you may forgive me slow, that my stomach once touched your toe. I believe that he is honestly sorry for what he did and that he is heartfelt in his apology. But under the spell of the Yukon, where we mine for pay dirt, I'm incredibly saddened by any my actions have hurt. I guess what it is is the bad example he set. But if Jerry's willing to forgive him, that should be good enough for all of us. And to the great toe master, Terry Lee, if only you got to know the real me, you may think I'm a big, egotistical American, but I'm truly an honest, humble man. Well, that was a good poem. He admitted he was a cannibal. I'll give him that. I wanted to let you know that upon my death, you shall have my big right toe. To prove I'm not trying to fake it, here are the shears with which I hope you take it. <laughs> Terry, thank you for letting me speak. No, not him. Ever. Ever. He's a wordsmith. He was barred for life. It's been three years. That's not life. I am extremely happy that I am unbanned from the downtown hotel. That place means the world to me. I wish Terry would receive me better. I wish Terry and I could be friends. I just want to hug the guy. One guy swallows a dude's toe, another guy hates him forever. We all know there's terrible shit happening all the time everywhere. The swallowing of a toe is not that bad. I believe that Terry will come around. He's already softening up a little bit. He actually commented on how good the will looked right there on the spot, and that Josh did a very nice job of framing it. Live in the Yukon long enough, you're not going to be sentimental. It doesn't pay in the end. Uh, that's done. I got to get back and serve some toes. Mm -hmm.